How's it going everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Today we have literally a feat of engineering, the production version of the Avanix Viper. This semi-automatic, extremely accurate and powerful PCP pistol is so good. It's definitely setting the benchmark for PCP pistols. There's nothing else out there that comes close to it in terms of performance. This new production version comes with removable iron sights as well as a one half UNF threaded muzzle so you can add any moderator. Right here I got a 25 caliber. Like I said, it comes in 177, 22, and 25 caliber. The new production version has more power over the first one that I tested. As well, this screw in the back is actually your hammer spring tension adjuster so you can adjust the power, but I would not recommend that. This gun is perfectly tuned out of the box. Now, this is a great pistol for target shooting and plinking. But especially in 25 caliber, this little guy packs a punch. So although in the USA we use firearms for self-defense, the Viper was developed by Avanix for personal defense. So they're an international brand. There's a lot of countries where they don't have firearms. The Viper is a capable sidearm that you can carry when you're hiking or whatever, in case you get attacked by an animal. This 25 caliber right here is going to give you two full magazines. With the 22 and 177 shooting three full magazines. As far as hardcore stats, I don't really have a lot of them. The weight on this bad boy is 2.3 pounds. And as you can see, it's beautifully made. The grips, the fit and finish, the craftsmanship on the Avanix Viper is just outstanding. Like all the Avanix. But really, it's the performance that is so impressive with the Avanix Viper. I mean, a gun that shoots a dime-sized group 10 yards away with open sights. Wow. Unbelievable, I just shot a dime nickel-sized group with open sights on my first try. Bam. I mean, imagine how accurate that's going to be if you put an optic on it. It's really mind-boggling. As well, in this video, we're going to stretch it out a little bit and see how far this 25 caliber can hit a can. For more information on this gun, shoot over to New England Air Guns. These are available to order now. The Avanix Viper is going to come with a couple breech O-rings, which goes right inside the end of your barrel where the pellet loads, as well as some other random O-rings in case you need to do maintenance to your gun. This right here is an Avanix factory moderator. It's nice and light. It's also precision made, and I can tell because the gun has perfect accuracy when you're using it, but you can use any moderator on here. I personally think my smallest down EFL would look pretty good on the Viper. As well, each Viper comes with two magazines. And these are super high quality, all aluminum, precision made. Got to be some of the nicest magazines I've come across. That giant opening right there, shove your pellet right in, spin it to the next one, and you're ready to rock and roll. Very, very easy to load. Then, of course, we've got the Avanix Viper itself. It comes with this custom padded box, so you know your Viper's going to arrive to you safe and sound and totally perfect. As well, you could take that insert out and slip it into a case of similar size, and you have a nice padded case. Or you can just cut your own foam, which is what I did. Basically get an electric carving knife. And here's my Ivanix GTL 480 custom case I made. And any of you who don't know, that's a 357 fully automatic. And it's at least 10 years old. We'll get to some chronograph testing, a trigger pull test a sound test, and a few other things momentarily. Real quick, here's a demonstration of the accuracy and power of the 25 caliber Avanix Viper. Hell yeah! This right here is an example of being overconfident. I thought when I put a scope on the Viper, it would do all the work for me. But here's my first official group. I believe this is only the third or fourth magazine I've ever shot out of this gun. And this is what happens when you concentrate. And also, these are the FX 25.4 grain FX pellets. All right, now I'm going to choose some FX pellets, except I'm going to take my time this time and shoot a little better. Here we go. I think it's pretty obvious this gun likes these FX pellets right here. All right, a few of you may remember T-Rex from a lot of my early videos. Anyway, 
he's back in town and he's got problems. Okay, I don't know, this is like a road sign or something on his head. You guys know how small a dice is, right? So there's a dice stuck to his nose and he's not supposed to have that. All right, and he's also not supposed to have that. So let's just take care of this right now, 10 yards away. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I saw right where that landed, it shot back. And landed, oh, you can't see through my scope, darn it. It landed over at that tree right there. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Darn it. Got it. Pretty impressive, huh, Bugaboo? Hell yeah! So here's your rear sight assembly. It's gonna have that little washer right in the middle, and it actually is recessed into the gun, so only about half of that sticks out. And then that washer goes right in that little hole right there. So that's a rugged design right there. And I have a laser for later on, too. So even though that was rapid fire, we had a lot of direct hits. Most all of them, actually. Yeah. Check this out. This guy was right where he landed. It's what we call a direct hit. All right, I'm going to try some precision shooting first, then I'll do some rapid fire on these bigger targets. And of course we have to throw in some double taps. And as I suspected, this guy is totally fine. We nailed him in the head and he's not even like scratched. Wow, loving it. So we'll definitely see Batman again. Actually check this out you guys. I shot, I shot two full magazines, 25 caliber, and I got that much air left. So that's a solid two magazines for sure, if not three. We got a lot more shooting coming up, including some long distance up to 40 yards. Real quick though, here's a look at the power levels. So here's a picture of the Viper that Rick over there at Airgun Web TV has. And as you can see, he was adjusting the velocity on it. Here's a look at his shot strength. As you can see, the Viper stays very consistent over the entire shot string with the velocity ending up almost where it started at the end of two magazines. Pretty awesome. Right here are some pellet speeds for the 25.4 grain FX pellets, the 26.6 grain FX Atomic, which are basically Hades, and the heavy 33.95 grain JSBs. And this is with the out-of-the-box tune. I didn't do any adjustment to the power at all. The lighter weight 25.4 grain FX pellets were traveling 613 feet per second. Just a little bit heavier and definitely a lot more trauma inducing. The FX Atomic Hades pellets at 26.6 grains traveling at a very special 582 feet per second. And then the heavy pellets 33.95 grain JSBs slowed down quite a bit. And no, I wasn't running out of air. I did have one more 25 caliber in my magazine. Bam, 620 feet per second. All right, you guys, we're at a very special 17 yards away. 
looks just like a video game. It's through my two power scope. Oh my gosh. Viper has a nice crisp trigger pull with a quick reset. Perfect for shooting double taps. Comes in at just four ounces. Alright, we got Bugaboo set up there at a very special 25 yards away. Alright, can off the head. Trick shot with a pistol, 25 yards, 25 caliber. Double tapped it. Now, if you think nailing targets at 25 yards with a pistol is pretty cool, check out this noise. Alright, you can barely see him, but that red right there is the can. We got Bugaboo out there way out there 41 yards away check that again yep we're at a solid 40 yards away all right I'm three shots off of a full tank 40 yards FX 25.4 grain okay, take one shot high all right went right over it Oh, totally nailed the crap out of it. Oh, totally nailed the crap out of it. The sound level on the Viper is not too bad when you have the LDC on there, but without the LDC, definitely loud. Alright everybody, that's it for me on this one. I am coming at you again with another Viper video soon because there is a buttstock available for this. We're going to turn this bad boy into a little pistol carbine and really go to town on some targets. All right, everyone. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Till next week, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.